Okay, students, today we are going to discuss about the freshwater fisheries in India. India has a total water surface area of approximately 3,14,000 square kilometer with numerous water resources in the form of say rivers, streams, ponds, other reservoirs, etc. So inland, the so freshwater fisheries can, 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 can be exploited very much to for the for the development of fisheries in India. So so the freshwater fisheries include mainly captured fisheries, but it also includes the cultural fisheries. So the freshwater in, in India comprises of rivers, canals, reservoirs, ponds, eustatcheries, brackish water lakes, backwaters, and the flood plains. Total such area in India is approximately three lakh square kilometer. As I told you, it comprises both the capture and the culture fisheries. Capture when we capture the fishes and culture when we uh, farm the fishes. Major river and canal system are present in UP, JNK, and Madhya Pradesh. They have the maximum number of or the maximum length of rivers and the canals in their state. Similarly, total area under water, excluding river and canal, is found to be maximum in Odisha, Andhra Pradesh, and the Karnataka. Talking about the blackish water, the brackish water area are mainly concentrated in Odisha, Kerala, West Bengal and Gujarat. So other states do have the, the rivers, the uh, ponds and the brackish water, but the maximum amount or the maximum length or the maximum volume of the fresh water in these form is present in these states. Now, before going into the fresh water fisheries, let us discuss about the part of a, of a river. A river consists of two parts as it is a, a linear system having a steep upper portion near the origin and giving way to less gradient and smooth mouth as the mouth is approached. So when you see a river it looks like this it has a steep upper area when it travels down from the hill and when it reaches the plains it becomes wide and 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 with less gradient and it is up, uh, it is not that rapid as it, it as it when it starts from the uh, origin so it has two zones one is the rithron zone and other is the potaman zone it is potaman and sometimes it is the potamon So what is Rithron and the Potamon zone? Rithron zone is steep and territorial upper zone. It has two parts alternating with each other. One is the riffle or rapids and other is the pool. One is the riffle and other is the pool. The riffle is a rocky or shallow part of a stream where the water flows brokenly. Say you can see here the water flows brokenly because of the less deeper river. You can see here because of less deeper uh, river and the presence of stones and and the rapids. Rapids are the section of a river where the uh, bed is river bed is relatively steep, causing an increase in water velocity. So it is a rapid. If it is steep, it is rapid, but that depth is 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 less if the depth becomes more it becomes a pool so we when we when the river starts from the starting point it has both the rabbits or the riffles and the pool they they most of the time they alternate with each other so in a river we have a rapid and we see the cross section of the river uh, so th these are the rapids and we have a pool and then there are rapids and there's a pool 
pool is not that big but it is deeper than the rapid Vedanta Falls. So the fishes which are present in the Arithran zone are, are best suitable to live there. They are either small, they, they, are, they are to be small size because of the less area. They, they grip the substratum with special organs like the mouth sucker which is present here in case of Tyloglanis or the certain fishes have the pectoral fin spines. See here the pectoral fin spines with which they can uh, attach themselves to the substratum because the speed of water is fast or the fish has to be fast swimming and they, they, these fast swimming fishes intermittently beach beach may they rest in the pool for example the barbers this is the barbers or the famous salmon which sometimes travel against the rapids also second is the potaman zone it is the flat slow moving lower part of the lower course of the river the speed of water is less the currents are relatively smooth it is characterized by wide flat mud bottom okay it is always wide it is a flat it has a muddy bottom and with rooted or the floating vegetation also the environment of the Potamon zone is more complex than the rethron because the rethron zone is always full of oxygen because the water is flowing regularly and it is full of oxygen the Potaman zone shows further zonation which is both longitudinal and lateral. Longitudinally, there is a replication of different habitats associated with twisted channels. And laterally, say, say this is a Potaman zone, laterally it has the flood plains where extra water stays and it is not these these flood plains are not permanent so the fishes living here have uh, different strategies in comparison to the main canal or the upper canal so many water bodies are found on the plain ranging from the small temporary pool to large permanent lagoons or the swamps around the main river now in the water bodies or the flood plain dissolved oxygen here, the, the water bodies of the flood plain, the dissolved oxygen concentration fall in the dry season, particularly in the smaller ones, which may become completely depleted of the oxygen. So, there are certain adaptations for the fishes which live in this zone. These are adapted for low dissolved oxygen and high temperature. For example, the clarius and note of terrace. They both are water and air breathing. They can breathe from air because of their special uh, respiratory organs. And second adaptation is <coughs> backward migration or lateral migration from flood plain to main river or from the uh, main river towards the upper part of the river. They have more complex breeding habits with multiple spawning, a great, great degree of parental care and they lay a vast number of eggs either in the uh, flood plain or in the uh, headwater streams and for that they undergo migration also. Talking about the riverine system in India, it is divided into four main groups. Most of the river pour their water either in the Bay of Bengal or in the Arabian Sea. It is divided into four groups namely major rivers, medium rivers, minor rivers and the desert rivers. Starting from the major river, these are the river having catchment area of approximately 20,000 km or more. A catchment area is an area of land where precipitation or the rain collects and drain off into a common outlet. So if the area is approximately 20,000 km, these are the major rivers. There are 14 such rivers in India and they are 
based on the origin one are the himalayan river which originates from the himalayas and other are the peninsular region which uh, originates from the peninsula of the central india the important rivers of the important major rivers in india are the uh, ganga brahmaputra the indus the himalayan rivers and the peninsular rivers like the mahanadi krishna and the uh, kaveri next are the minor medium rivers medium rivers have a catchment area of 2000 to 20000 square kilometer there are 44 such rivers in india out of which 17 rivers are towards the arabian sea and rest towards the bay of bengal so if we can uh, visualize the map of india Towards the eastern side, we have the uh, Bay of Bengal, and towards the western side, we have the Arabian Sea. So, 17 rivers drain towards the Arabian Sea, and the remaining towards the Bay of Bengal. The minor rivers have catchment area of less than 2,000 square kilometer, and many rivers of western and eastern ghats compromises the minor rivers desert rivers are the very small rivers of desert area for example the ghagar these are the major riverine system of india so before going into the details let me uh, introduce you to the rivers one is the ganga river system this is the ganga river starting from from the heights of the Himalayas and going through the plains of Uttar Pradesh and draining and draining into the Bay of Bengal. This is the Ganga river system. Second is the Brahmaputra river system again originating from the Himalayas and 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 most uh, the the traveling through the India from in Arunachal Pradesh and Assam and again draining into the Bay of Bengal. Third is the Indus river system again originating from the Himalayas and comprises of different rivers and draining into the Arabian Sea. The east coast river system this is the east and this is the west east coast river systems comprising of mahanadi godavari krishna kaveri and draining into the bay of bengal and the west coast river system the narmada and the tapti draining into the arabian sea <coughs> so these are five major river and system of india you have to remember one is the ganga river system other is the brahmaputra river system the Indus river system all three are from the Himalayas and the east and west coast water system towards the east and west coast of the India. Starting from the Ganga river system it is the largest in India and fifth largest in the world the river. It originates from the Gomukh Uttarakhand and drains into the Bay of Bengal. Okay there is a controversy again whether it is whether it is originates from the Gomukh or from the Mansarovar lake you can search the literature and uh, you will find a uh, uh, you will find that it is a controversial issue so the ganga originates from the himalayas somewhere near the and and drains into the bay of bengal the annual water discharge is approximately 18700 cubic meter per second and it sustains 300 million people River Ganga and Yamuna are the major components of the system. Yamuna originates from Yamunotri and covers a distance of approximately 1000 km before joining into the Ganga at, at Allahabad. The fisheries at Ganga river system, the major carps, the carps here, the carp here means the fishes belonging to Cyprinid family. So major carps are the Katla Katla, uh, this is Katla Katla, the Lebu Rohita 
and Sirinus Mrigla. The other carps are Sirinus Reva and Alevio Bata. So these are some of the carps of the Ganga river system. Similarly, we have the catfish. Catfish can be identified by the presence of the long barbels. These are the long barbels. They, the, the two major fishes are of the catfish family are the Mr. Singhala and Walagua too. Similarly, we have a uh, clupid fish belonging to the family. The major fish of the family is the Hilsa and the cold water fishes, Mahasir and the trout. Obviously, there are many more fishes which, are, which we capture or rear in the Ganga river system, but these are some of the major fishes which you can remember easily. Like the uh, Katla Katla, Labio, Serenus and uh, catfishes, misters and the hilsa and maha, mahasir and the trout. Brahmaputra river system. Brahmaputra river system is approximately 2900 km long and it originates from the Mans River Lake in the Tibet and runs through the Arunachal Pradesh and Assam in India before draining into the Bay of Bengal. It's a big river and, and its width is such it is as much as 20 km at some places. So it's a big river, say 20 km is from, 20 km is, say you start traveling from Sirsa towards the Ding and this, this is the, the width of the river. Which is of Brahmaputra. The carps, the same carps, Katla Katla, Levi Rohita, Sinus Megala, Catfish are the again same Balagotu and the Mr. Singhala. And other are the Chanam Marulius or the Striatus. Cold water fishes include the Mahasir. Indus river system. Indus river system is important. One is the Indus itself, which starts from the northern slope of the Kalash range in Tibet. Jhelum, which starts from the spring named Verinag from the southeast Kashmir, Chinab. It, start, it is a confluence. Chinab is a confluence of two rivers, Chandra and Bhaga. So Chinab river is made up of uh, by the confluence or the Milne Se, two rivers ke Milne Se, Chandra and Bhaga, which originates from the Baralachala in the Himachal Pradesh. It later joined Jhelum. Ravi. It originates from near the Rotang Pass in Kangra Himalayas and again joins the Jhelum. Bias, it starts from the Bias Kund near Rotang Pass and joins Satluj near Harike in Punjab. And Satluj starts from the Dakshastal Lake in Tibet and joins the Spiti River. So Indus River system consists of these six rivers or the five rivers in addition to the Indus and this forms a important river line system of India. Most of the part of this river is present in the, the present day Pakistan and only a small segment is left in the present day India. This system harbors the exotic rainbow trouts and the brown trouts in their upper reaches and a variety of indigenous carps and catfish in the lower section. Trout streams of Kashmir constitute one of the world's richest sport fishing water attracting tourists from all the world. So the trouts, the trout fish, which is present in the upper part of the uh, system, mainly consists of the rainbow and the brown trout. Attracts the uh, sports fishermen from all over the world. They come here to catch the fishes only as for, for the purpose of sports only. <coughs> okay, East Coast uh, River System. East, East Coast River System consists of three rivers, the Godavari, Krishna and Kaveri, each having several tributaries. These rivers flow eastward and drain into the Bay of Bengal. So Godavari River starts from the Deolali near Nasik in Maharashtra. It has many dams and irrigation canals. Krishna River starts from the Western Ghat near Pune, Pune. It has two main tributaries, Bhima and the Tungbhadra. 
and third one is the Kaveri. It starts from the Brahmagiri hill of the Western Ghats. Bhavani, Noili, and Amravati are the three main tributaries of the Kaveri River. So about 80 species of fishes are reported from the uh, river system. Again, the main fishes of the of the of this uh, east coast uh, river system is the Sirinus mirigla, Katla Katla, Labio, and cat fishes, including Mr. Singhala, and exotic fishes like the Cyprinus are found in the east coast river system. West Coast River system consists of two rivers, the Narmada and the Tapti. Narmada River originates from the Amarkantak Hills from the Bilaspur, Madhya Pradesh and empties into the Gulf of Khambat. Gulf of Khambat is the area as, as circled here in the diagram below the Gujarat in the Arabian Sea. It is approximately 1200 km long than the river. The major fishes of Namda river are again the Labio, Sirinus Mrigla, Mr. Singhala and Chana species. Tapti river, the next is the Tapti river, it originates from the Satpura range of India mountains and it also empties into the Gulf of Khambat. So the uh, the purpose of the lecture is to introduce the students towards the major river system and the rivers of India here. Which river lies on the east coast, which river lies on the west coast, the Himalayan rivers. As you, as you uh, came to know that the Himalayan rivers consist of the Ganga river system, the Indus river system and the Brahmaputra river system. Whereas the east coast rivers are the Godavari, Krishna and Kaveri and the west coast rivers are the Namda and Tapti. In the future lesson we will discuss about the different types of fishes and the gears and the crafts which we use to capture or farm these fishes in the fresh water. Thank you.